Simon Parks was an 18-year-old radio operator aboard HMS Illustrious. In December 1986, that ship came here. Simon Parks went ashore and he never came back on board. More than 30 years later, his family is desperate to know what became of him. Specialist resources from Hampshire Constabulary, including a team of forensics experts, will be working in close collaboration with RGP officers to search the Trafalgar Cemetery this week. It's not the first time a search for Simon Parks is carried out in Gibraltar. Hampshire police came to the rock in 2003 and then in 2005 as part of a long-term investigation. So far, they've failed to find the answers they're looking for. But the investigation is making new progress and has led officers to probe the case further. A witness who served aboard HMS Illustrious at the time of the disappearance has come forward. Police believe it's credible and provides an opportunity to find out what really happened to Simon Parks. The police in Hampshire in the UK received new information earlier this year from a, a witness that's come forward um, and um, that information has been assessed as being credible by ourselves and so today uh, and this week with the assistance of um, the authorities here and the Royal Gibraltar Police we're, we're, we're carrying out various inquiries uh, including the search of this um, the cemetery. The search is uh, one that will be proportionate to the, the information that we're in receipt of. Uh, we expect that we'll be here for a, uh, a week, um, although uh, if we're successful then, um, then that, that's subject to change. Um, can you say can you say what uh, the new information is? I, I, I can't go into specific details for operational reasons except to say that um, the, the information brings us to this specific location. Um, the hope is that what we're doing will finally answer what happened to Simon all those years ago in 1986 um, and uh, hopefully who, uh, identify who, if anybody, is responsible for his disappearance. Um, you know, the, the main reason we're here is that cases like this never go away. Uh, when the police receive new information, um, then we are duty bound to look into it and follow reasonable lines of inquiry um, because we owe that to Simon and we owe that to his parents and his shipmates uh, who are left um, after 30 years uh, without closure and wanted to know what's happened. We've been involved in this case obviously because Simon disappeared here since, since early 86, since 86. Uh, and then back in 2003, 2004 we worked very closely with our colleagues in Hampshire. Uh, at that time, with, with information came along at that time, uh, and we're very, very keen to to be here and, and to and to assist our colleagues. Uh, we've got search advisors together with Hampshire search advisors. We've got our crime team managers together with Hampshire crime team managers. And we've got our own detectives together with Hampshire detectives working today, this week in Gibraltar on on this new information. Police say the investigations could also trigger memories for anyone who may hold the key to solving this cold case. Simon Parks was last seen leaving the Horseshoe Bar on the 12th of December 1986. One of the last people seen with him was Alan Grimson, a man who was subsequently convicted for the murder of two young men and is serving a prison sentence. However, Grimson, now 60, denies having killed Simon Parks and no evidence has ever linked him to the 18-year-old's disappearance. He was a petty officer aboard HMS Illustrious when Simon Parks went missing. The judge who sentenced him in 2001 described him as a serial killer in nature, if not by number. Anyone with information about the disappearance of Simon Parks can call the RGP on 200 72500 or, if in the UK, Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 111. An online portal has also been opened where you can give information. More details and links can be found on our website, gbc.gi forward slash news.